I'm putting. I'm putting. No matter where I'm at on that, I'm putting. 80 yards out? 100%. <laughs> For your one par? <laughs> I, uh... Four play presented by Barstool Sports. Quick note right off the top. I imagine we will be significantly less inebriated for this show than we were on the last show. Uh, Monday's live show, awesome time. We had a lovely, lovely time. Mm -hmm. I know uh, I started drinking at the tournament on Monday at about 8.39 in the morning. We were doing fireball shots. I do think I was you know, just a little bit more consistently drinking throughout the day. We were all ripping fireball shots. Frank, you hadn't eaten all day, I believe. Yeah, I was shit-faced. Mm -hmm. <laughs> drunk, like the drunkest of I've seen you by far. <laughs> Hit me like a ton of bricks. I don't know if I was <laughs> yeah. drugged or what. I mean, this is what happened is we I traveled really early down to Augusta and you, I didn't eat breakfast. And then you get to Augusta, you get to the house. There's nothing at the house. And you just like hours go by, right? Like it's now yeah. four o'clock. Haven't eaten a thing. Had a little mini chicken sandwich. Didn't fill me up at all. I mean, just the smallest thing of all time. And now you're just going into the night. You have a live show. You're nervous. I nervously drink when I'm in things like that, where if you put a bunch of Trulies in front of me, I mean, I must have had four of them during the live show. Think about it. It's like nervous drinking uh, during a game when you're watching your favorite you're team. You're just going. You just delete those things. You just take a sip every four seconds. Trent's been watching me eat popcorn. I never stop. Like when I have like a Truly or something in my hand, I'm never stopping. I just keep going. Yeah. I, I keep going to the, I keep going to it. So yeah, it hit me like a ton of bricks, <laughs> ton of bricks. <laughs> yeah, man. <clears throat> yeah. You were drunk, but it was a great, it was a great night. Yeah. We had a good time. It was an awesome time. It was <laughs> I had nothing in. If you if you in. go back and listen to the ad reads, I mean, we were all a little loopy, certainly yeah. to different degrees. But the, you, I was so proud of you during the. Ver if you go back and read the Verbo or listen to the Verbo ad, I said to you after we got done, I was like, "That was your Will Ferrell and old school, where you black out and make the best argument of all time. <laughs> you had the best ad read of all time, and I bet you bet you don't even remember it. No, you were coherent, you were succinct, yeah. you just nailed it. I watched you. I watched you tiptoe across a tight wire as you were reading that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and now we're in Chicago where yep. this is our first time being in the office. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful office. I will say there are way too many snacks. It's a problem. Do they have a, they have a whole, I mean, there's so many snacks, but there's a popcorn maker that Frankie referenced. One side is regular popcorn and the other side is caramel and cheddar popcorn. And oh, I've man. been crushing that popcorn. I, I'm going to gain five pounds, five, 10 pounds while I'm here. And they come popcorn in and they... is probably the worst possible office snack because it's the hardest thing to stop eating. Yes. yes, and when PFT you have says that he around, stops yeah. when his lips shrivel up from just too much sodium. That's when he knows he just can't do it anymore. It's a beautiful office. This office is really cool. Uh, there's so much space. It's really uh, they've got the simulator, which uh, we've all been around simulators. Simulators have been big for a while. We're in the golf world, so we've been invited to simulators, five iron, all these different places. It is so addicting it's uh, we were talking big cat pmt guys yesterday it's like when you have a fridge and you just find yourself blacking out and going down and eating out of the fridge without even noticing it yep it's like that with the golf simulator you just don't even know that you're over there next thing you look up and you've hit seven drives in a row yeah and yeah. you're trying to outdrive yourself so it's a really cool office the mini golf setup is way sicker than i thought it was going to be it's nice uh I, you know you're thinking it's going to be janky weird i didn't know if someone was it just hank like cutting turf himself and being like yeah, this looks like a good hole it's extremely <laughs> legitimate there's four rounds we're one round in as we record this uh the three of us on the show here uh solid performances we're yeah. right there we're right in the middle of the pack i feel like kind of up towards the top that pack whitney went crazy low the first round he had a hole in one on the first two holes uh, really yeah yes. holes in ones on the first two holes jeez uh he's 15 under through one round as this comes out you know we'll be through three rounds and there'll be one round left hopefully we all make the cut and we have a very interesting wager going. That's right. With Will Compton from <laughs> Boston with the Boys, uh, where the the stakes are: if all of four play, all three of us defeat him in this tournament, shoot a lower score than he shoots, uh, he has to dress up in four play merch and monkey dance for us. That's right. We get yep. to give him commands, and he monkey dances. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's right. If he defeats any three of us. It's completely reversed, and he we dress up in bussing gear, and he gets to uh, control us as we monkey dance for him. Correct. Yep. It's tight right now, too. Again, people are going to know because it's a live mini golf tournament, so they will know kind of what has happened so far, not the full way, but he's on our heels right now. I'm seven under at, the, at this time. Will Compton is seven under. Frankie Borelli is eight under. Riggs Barstool is nine under. So it's tight out there. Yeah, it's a it's a struggle because they have tailor made. Obviously, we're using all the tailor made gear. We've got the Spider Torxes and we've got the TP blades, 
it's been a struggle on deciding what to use because when you're up against the wall of the course or of the hole, the blades, uh, the, the spiders are way more just big clanky, um, putters to be able to like maneuver yourself around the wall. But then like the blade is way lighter. I'm, I'm in a world of hurt in terms of what putter to use. I use a, I use a Torx spider every and day. Typically in mini golf, the boundaries are brick or something similar to brick off. that bounces off hard. Yeah. So you don't end up n right on it as often, but we all know you do the one putter length, uh, putter head length thing. And the uh, blade is slightly longer than the uh, mallets and the spiders. So you do a blade length, but then some of the walls are high, are high and soft because they're spots where you're supposed to hit it in a little more aggressively. And the high wall, you don't have much room with the mallets. So you got to go like straight up with it, which is dicey. So it is tricky. It's a tricky shot. Uh, but yeah, I like, you know, we're in the heat of it with this Will Compton bet. Yeah, we are. He was, dude, he was, he was even through nine and we're like, oh, we're going to, we're going to breeze through this. He's going to be wearing four play merch in no time. And then he finished at seven under. So we'll see, we'll see how that, how that falls and we'll Let's hopefully... perform, you know, let's I know. get that guy in our gear. Come on. Yeah. That would be great. Yeah. Great to see him. Uh, it has been, he's been great. He has. Been. It is. We were talking about how like tonality and everything gets lost. When you're not in the same place and on the internet and tweets. Yeah. And then you're just like, oh, hey, man, what's going Shook on? Shook his hand. We were laughing. Shooting the shit. Good time. Did you know you can get tickets? I'm going to be back in Phoenix this weekend watching uh, the golf. This weekend, you can get my team, St. Louis Cardinals, are at the Arizona Diamondbacks. 27 bucks. Beautiful. $27. We're in Chicago. I mean, I, we're going to be busy with this mini golf thing, but... If we if we had an opening, I would love to go to Wrigley. You know, I've been to Wrigley. Me it's too. I've been to Wrigley a there. bunch. Baseball season is back. We are in Chicago. Cubs got to be playing. I don't know if they're home or away. But if we had enough time, I would absolutely go to Wrigley. Never been to Wrigley. What? Nope. You got to go. I know. I think I'm gonna go. I think we we're discussing. We're coming out here for Pup Punk. Oh, I never talked about that during the show today, so I can talk Ooh. about it now. Pup Punk show, uh, tickets are. On sale now, so we are actually going on tour, five cities. Chicago's one of them, and we were discussing going on game time and going to the Chicago Cubs game the day after Pup Punk, um, which is right after Pickleball. So we were doing a lot of stuff here in Chicago um, come the end of May, and I think game time, Cubs game is on the uh, agenda because I need to go to a game. It's amazing. Wrigley's amazing. I'm also looking uh, Nate Bergazzi. Whoa. Our guy is at the Footprint Center in Arizona and Phoenix. Guy is Doing the footprint center. I think the he's, he's recording center. a new special soon too. Already? Yeah. I think that's coming up soon. Yeah. That guy's doing arenas, man. Good for him. I we love that guy. Yeah. I'm looking at the cheapest on game time. You can get something up there for fifty two dollars. You want to sit right down there, right next to Nate. They've got two twenty five, one ninety seven. So there's a bunch of different options on game time. So make sure you check them out. Game time is the official ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. Baseball is back. Shouldn't have to worry when buying tickets to your next game. Game time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets to all of these sports, the music, the comedy, and theater events near you. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time. Download the game time app, create an account, and use code 4 for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Download the game time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Use the code 4 for $20 off your first purchase. I want to talk real quick about the Augusta Airport. Okay. One of the better, maybe the best airport grill experience of my life. Yep. In there. We got this. What was it? Charboiled chicken? The charbroiled uh, chicken sandwich. But just, I, I think what you're referencing is how many people were in that airport. It was the master's week. People fly in, which I didn't realize a lot of people fly in just for the one day. And then they fly back out right after the round. I thought Monday leaving Augusta would be the emptiest airport of all time wrong it was so busy and they were dealing with hundreds of hundreds of people one grill in the middle of this little airport one grill they fed every single person that walked in there within five minutes perfectly done sandwich phenomenal like if i could give it like a rating i think i legit would give that grill a 9.8 you can and I, you did i wouldn't be surprised if like I augusta did. national the golf club is like they wouldn't publicize it, but making sure that that operation runs smooth so that oh. everyone has a perfect experience from the time they touch down in Augusta to the time they leave. And yesterday, I was actually you were mentioning how you thought Monday would be apparently the, the, the cheapest day for secondary tickets is Sunday, 
because most people like want to get back and watch the end of the masters you know like you go for one day most people aren't there all week so i thought that was a very interesting yeah. insight that i never thought about wouldn't surprise me in the least if we found out that there's a gust of money running through that airport like if they if they're just like making things sure things are a little higher than normal airports that like uh, a good part of that airport was normally there are dogs there and when you see dogs in an airport they're like do not pet because it's a service dog at the Augusta airport. There's dogs, there's therapy dogs that you can pet. And I was petting those Are dogs. Like really? Cr- yes, dude. Yeah. Wanda and Rhett. Shout out to my, literally so my dogs. Augusta um, Nationals got their fingerprints all over that. Dude, they, uh, that whole town. And then apparently, of course, that airport is going to be great because they're like, it has to be. I've never, I've never been to that airport because I've always just flown to Atlanta and driven because I, I don't know. It's, it's weird. Like. I prefer that two hour drive for me is like a trigger for master's week. Like I, it's always kind of a nice, it's usually late at night on Sunday. I'm kind of by myself. Yeah. So it's a nice little ritual that I, and, and obviously I'd have to connect to go through Augusta for my life. So I've never been, I didn't realize Charlotte is also only a couple hours. Yeah. So like a lot of equidistant, a lot of folks were saying that the new hack is to fly to Charlotte instead of Atlanta. You avoid a lot of the master's traffic because people don't know about it as much. Yep. You can fly direct to Charlotte and drive oh. pretty much the same distance, equidistant as Dan says. Um, Danny Rapp's in Augusta right now. He's in the media center. You yeah, have an Augusta I mean, uh, green wall around you. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm I'm very much here. Um, I'm looking at the uh, regulations telling me what I can and can't say. Um, <laughs> what can't you say? It's, so you have it's, to it's, say pa- patrons, right? Yeah. Well, no. It's more like um, how long report- is it? Read the whole thing. P- okay. Please leave the door open and turn off the lights when finished. So that's pretty standard. Okay, uh, that's, that's, that's mm-hmm. just manners. Yep. Reports produced from recording rooms must be completely editorial. Okay. Per the press regulations, while reports may be sponsored, nothing shall suggest that such sponsors that such sponsor is a sponsor of the tournament as distinguished from being a sponsor of the report. For instance, okay. similar language to the following would not be permitted. The insert podcast at the Masters from Augusta National is brought to you by insert sponsor. There's two more bullet points. Okay. Recording rooms in the press building are the only locations where video recording is permitted, provided it is for editorial purposes. Reports from recording rooms may not be live unless authorized by Augusta National in writing. So I think we're good. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah. We just, we, yeah. you know, we are, uh, we have quite a few advertisements. We just can't frame them and begin them by saying we're here at the Masters Tournament and this is brought to you by, right? Correct. You can't say it Correct. like that. You okay. got it. All right. Okay, Standard. that's fair. We're good there. That's fair. Um, How's the room smell? Nice. Yeah, nice. it's it's yeah. just it's, it's just a just a you know the the walls are soundproof and uh, the, the acoustics are pretty good. It's a nice room. I've spent a lot of time in here. Show me that door handle. Is it a nice door handle? I can't see it from it's here. Gold brass. What no, is it? what is it? Let's see. All right. Pretty oh, standard nice. silver like yeah. door handle. There's, 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 there's another one, chair. There's another chair. Was modern? There. I thought it would be a there's round a, one. There. There's a there's a cuck chair in the corner. <laughs> yeah, there's someone can sit in the corner and watch me podcast watch all day. Pod- if they Dylan the chair is gonna sit there and watch you podcast. <laughs> Man, um, <laughs> all right, let's get into the uh, oh. let's let's get into the tournament here a little bit. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, there you go. We started making jokes about the Augusta recording Not room, and, and Danny Rap got cut off. There he yeah. goes. Damn, that's dude. on us. I mean, I shouldn't have made the cuck joke. Augusta National. Not gonna like that. That's on us a little bit. We can't be doing that. You back, Dan? I'm back. You guys made me laugh in that ruined this microphone. That's <laughs> kind of what we thought. Uh, Dave Portnoy has three hundred thousand uh, dollars on Scotty Scheffler to win the Masters. How do you have you been watching him out there, Dan? At all? Have you see what's like? What's the what's the rumor mill about Scotty right now? Yeah, I mean he's it's gonna not gonna be breaking news, but he's he's flushing it. Um, I, yeah, he was in the he was in the uh, the room yesterday, the interview room, and and just he. Uh, He's getting really good in there, you know, like he's he's been number one now for a long enough time. He's done pressers before basically every single tournament. Um, and he just seems completely unflappable and unaffected apart from his relationship with Frankie Borelli um, by being number one in the world. Like he just seems like, you know, I go home and I, I keep my same people around me. So I don't think that this moment is like getting to him at all. I don't think he feels any sort of pressure. Um, he's he's you know, and it's, it's kind of wild. I, I tweeted this earlier in the week, like. We basically know that he's going to hit it good enough to win the Masters. Like, yes, that's a virtual certainty. So it's going to come down to how he putts. If he putts well, he's he's going to win the Masters. You know, and that's we haven't had that clear of like a if A then B uh, in a really long time in our game. Did he answer any questions about uh, the pregnancy? He did not. He was not asked, but he did tell Golf Channel. So his his wife Meredith, them and the Burnses are very close. Sam Burns. Yep. Um, 
and I guess they're having babies at the same time. It's like their due dates are like a couple of days apart. I think it's next week. Um, but both guys said, you know, if, if their wives go into labor, that they'll withdraw from the tournament. But the, but they're, they're good at that stuff now, right? Like they can kind of schedule when that happens. Yeah, that's Throw them a Zoom link. They'll be fine. It's a little crazy from Sam Burns, in my opinion. If that guy, you know, we've talked about this on a few different shows, but if that guy is leading the Masters tournament, you can't leave. Don't You're, you know? You gotta get that Masters W. You gotta get that green jacket. You gotta get that Tuesday dinner reservation for the rest of your life. Scotty's already won one. He's number one in the world. He's gonna win a bunch of majors. I think it's a little bit different, but. I don't know how you're Sam Burns and you get out of there. You got to win the Masters. Yeah, he uh, he's played in 14 majors and his best finish is T20. So if he's leading the Masters, that's a t- that's going to be a tough tee time to he's walk away from. He's not a doctor. If he they're going to produce that <laughs> child and it's going to be there it's in five or seven days, they don't need him there. Just Think like, about how great that that Champions Dinner next year would be if it was Sam Burns with the New Orleans, Louisiana wow. stuff. Oh, come on! You got think about how around. much more your kid's going to like you if you're a Masters champion. Exactly. <laughs> Good way to look at it. You ask any of Listen. us. You ask any of us when we were 18 or there, you'd be like, "Oh, by the way, I left the Masters. I was leading it so that I could be." They'd be like, "What are you fucking stupid, Dad?" You're your, your yes. wife might hate you forever <laughs> and resent you and hold it against you, but that kid later on is going to be like, "Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. We, You'll you're be a Masters, a Masters champ. champion. You I get to get play Augusta wife. all the just time. Just get a now. new wife. Just get right. A new every, wife. Every, <laughs> just get a new one. You can't get a new Masters championship. That's, that's hard to do. That's just it's it's one. Um, yeah, that one's interesting. Uh, I'm impressed with Scotty's ability to in these pressers constantly. Talk about how golf is not his life. It's just a thing that he does in his life. And that mindset to me is so impressive. And it doesn't come off like it's just he did some media training and that's the line he comes up with. It it genuinely does come off to me like he views his life as there's a bunch of different priorities and golf happens to be one of them. But he's not defined by the fact that he's the best golfer in the last 15 years. Right? And it was extra interesting because about five hours before he was in the room, uh, Tiger Woods was asked, you know, about golf. And he said, it's my whole life. He said, I've been playing since I was nine months old. Uh, you know, I played my first event when I was five years old. Like right. golf is, it has been my life. He's, I think that's the direct quote. Golf has been my life. So it's, you know, there's different ways to, to get it done. There's different ways to be the best player in the world. Tiger was, was consumed by the sport and consumed by the quest for greatness. Not to say that Scotty's not, but there are other things I think that occupy his mind and his time. Whereas I think Tiger, the moment he stepped off the golf course, was thinking about what he could do better. Going back to Dave's uh, Scheffler bet, this is a Frankie Borelli production. Mm-hmm. That was you did that. You want to explain that? Well, he kind of cornered us a little bit. I was part of it, but Frankie kind of took over. I don't know how the conversation started. <laughs> He said, "Didn't he just say something to in our direction of like, he's, what do you, what do you guys, what are your, your picks? Pick, what are your picks this week?" Yeah, and you, we gave ours, and then I think you, you somewhat wax poetic just about how you're crazy if you don't take Scotty. Well, if someone's asking you who do you think's going to win the Masters this week, how can you pick anyone but Scotty? Vegas agrees yeah, like, with gun to your head. It's a no. And it's range. just yeah, yeah, and and he's not the kind of guy that's going to like sprinkle little things around. You know, you got to know who you're dealing with here, and he's a heavy shooter. Yeah, and I if do. you're going to like give him a name, like, sure, there's a lot of guys out there that can win the Masters this year. It's John Rahm. It's Brooks Kepka. I mean, all these there's all these guys. When you start to go into like the 12 to one, the 15 to one, the 20 to one, you're giving a guy who's going to put over a quarter million dollars bet on this thing. You better go with the guy who's not going to miss hit a single shot. And he's proven that for a long time, setting records for the most amount of rounds under par. I mean, like the guy. The statistics are are backing up the pick, and you've that's got, why he's four to one. You've got the best pick in the field. That you should that should bring you comfort. Dave put three hundred thousand on Scotty Scheffler. Yeah. So the other yeah, the thing I like about that, and I might tail Dave in that. You know, obviously I've sprinkled a good amount. Uh, Kirk and I had our gambling show that came out last night um, that people can go listen to. It's called Chasing Greens. Oh, there's Whoa. a name, Chasing Greens. I like that. Thank you. Thank you. That's really good. It's like, you know, greens on a golf course. And the money. And money is green. Bang. Keep going. And we did like to sprinkle a lot of stuff. I got Jaeger, the Jaeger bomb as a top 30 finisher. Kirk did a, uh, he he came up with, the, there's um like a, a three-way that you could do, a triple chance where you kind of do, I think, Scotty, Rory, and Xander 
or something is like plus 200. You've got all three of those guys and one of them wins. Oh. So I like to sprinkle some stuff. It's very fun. There's a hole in one bet that is two or more hole in one, holes in one oh. is plus 225. I'm taking that. So I'm going to do that. So those are really fun. But I also like to uh, take a big one. And when Dave's on it, it's fun to kind of chase. And the reason that I really do kind of like the Scotty one, as nuts as it sounds and as, as lame as it is, you're not going on a limb, blah, 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 all that bullshit, is like he's a lock. To be in contention. Yeah. Does everybody yes. agree with that? Agree. Like, it is impossible for you to pretty much wake up Sunday, have a bunch of money on Scotty, and there's no chance that he could win. Like, he's going to be within four or five shots at worst. On it would Sunday be his worst round. Like, for him to not <laughs> right. be in contention, yeah. it would be his worst round in, like, over a year of playing. So, and I don't know what the actual statistics are behind that, but it feels like it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if this- no, he he also has, like, a quiet mind, which I think is, is such a... Uh, an asset in golf, whereas like Victor Hovland uh, <laughs> last year was playing the best golf of his career and then switched coaches. And I asked him why he did that. And he said, you know, I didn't feel like my game was sustainable. You know, I, I always want to get better. I think there are definitely guys who, if everything's going well, they start to kind of almost be uncomfortable. Like, well, you know, I got to be working on something. Whereas I feel like Scotty's in a groove right now where he's just same thing over and over again. And that's actually, that's hard to do in golf. Like it's hard to not get in your head of, oh, if I could just get, hit this a little further before I could, you know, get a little comfortable, more comfortable hitting a draw. Whereas I feel like Scotty is just completely secure in the golfer that he is. An action packed fight card is taking over Las Vegas for UFC 300 and uh, DraftKings Sportsbook. The official betting partner of the UFC is giving new customers a shot to turn five bucks into $150 instantly in bonus bets with any UFC 300 bet. Uh, obviously, UFC, huge. Everybody's in UFC. Robbie, shout out to our boy Robbie Fox. Yeah. Bob shout Fox. Out, shout out to him. And we got a lot of golf this week, so we're going to be heavy on the golf, focusing on the golf. We spoke about Dave Portnoy using the DraftKings Sportsbook to put $300,000 on Scotty Scheffler yep. to win the Masters That's this correct. week. That's uh, correct. A few different ones that I've liked. I got Wyndham Clark over three and a half birdies in his first round. I believe that was like minus 110. And then uh, I've got Tiger Woods also to have over three and a half birdies in his first round, which I think was like plus 120 or plus Oh, that's a good bet. I've got I've got Brooks to win. And then what, the, what was the hole in one bet? Plus 225 for two or more aces. Uh, I'm going to do that. I love that bet. DraftKings Sportsbook, baby. Get in there. And a reminder, they're giving away new customers. Um, they're giving you the opportunity, new customers, a shot to turn five bucks into $150 instantly in bonus bets, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Use code four. New customers can bet five bucks to get one hundred and fifty dollars instantly in bonus bets only at DraftKings Sportsbook with code four. The crown is yours. Are these guys even going to play on Thursday? I, the weather is a mess. It doesn't look like it. I kept like I keep on getting asked that. Like I went to dinner with some some DraftKings people last night, like a you know kind of a sponsor Ooh. thing, and they DK were asking, partner dinner. DK partner, big go, time, big DK partner. And they go, uh, it was, what do you think on Thursday? I go, I, let me tell you, but I don't have an inside scoop on the weather. Like that's <laughs> yeah. You know, we are thinking that since you're there, like, do you see the clouds <laughs> yeah. coming down? Can you? Just <laughs> that is so <laughs> true. I asked it's him that like he has more information than we do. Totally. You feel it in your bones. Play on Thursday. It's gonna... I think they're not going to play golf. Whoa! Because a couple things. Obviously, the rain, and like it's supposed to be a thunderstorm, so rain, lightning, all the bullshit. But I also think it's going to be windy, like thirty yeah. or forty mile an hour winds, and the greens are so fast that you can't play those that golf course with that winds that fast. And you also risk like if if Thursday is like a horrible, horrible round, horrible weather day, and the rest of the week is pretty good. If you send guys out on like a soaked golf course in the wind and they play like nine holes. And then it's like those guys really got boned and have no chance because they had to play those nine holes. Like you get into, you get into like a, com- a competitive, you know, integrity situation. Yeah, if, you, if you play that one horrible day. And you're right. For the forecast, guys, you. the forecast: Friday, Saturday, Sunday, sun and seventy to eighty-five degrees. Beautiful. So that's true. And that's only eight, ninety players, eighty-nine players. Yeah, ninety players. Like they, they, if they need to, they can go. You know, it's both nice tees. Ball. Like they, they can finish. So they'll be all right. So yeah, they might just they might just wipe Thursday. In which case, our mini golf would go earlier. By the way, I think the final round, Hank said, might be around three p.m. If phenomenal, uh, if there's a rain delay, which would be great. I gotta pee. Okay, and I just Fine. can't hold it in anymore. You can do that. You can pee. It happened to me yeah. twice during the live show. We are no, we are accepting of your 
you situation. Did, you did two pee breaks during the live show, Dan? Yeah, it's wow. what happens when you take like six fireball shots and drink, you know, three beers. Nope. <laughs> Nobody pees more than Tommy Smokes. I spent two mm. or three days in Austin, Texas with Tommy Smokes. Probably pissed 65 times. It's a stressful life because you have to constantly be planning around your pisses. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, but it's it's also stressful for the people in his life. Like when you're in an Uber with him, <laughs> when you're going to the oh, airport and man. you're it's you're just you're you're taking that burden with you. Yeah. That's yeah, come on in. Hi Kirk. Kirk Minahan, yeah. Come there. on in here, Kirk. Why don't you sit over here on the right? We got your boy Dan Rapport up there. Oh, that haircut up close is unbelievable. What do you think? I, I modeled it after you. He said he modeled it after you. <laughs> yeah, jeez. <laughs> Does he have uh oh you got headphones. Okay. Here come the headphones. Um we're just talking. We're just talking about if they're going to play or not on Thursday. Yeah. What are they saying? Uh, you guys probably already did this. What are they saying? Just a little. Yeah. And then yeah. he laughed at the thought that he would know more because he's there. Because like, he's physically like, there. Like, yeah. Feel yeah. the clouds it's are coming. Just in. the weather. Uh, yeah. But yeah. I think that's too. I'm like, oh, yeah. you must know more. We all did that. We're like, Dan, are they going to play tomorrow? Or are you some sort of fucking? Well, it's, um, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Kirk. You guys just, just meet you guys or what? Did you hear about uh, Dave's bet? Dave Portnoy. Yeah. For the Masters. Yeah. No. Three hundred thousand dollars on Scotty Scheffler. So that's like a one point two payout or no? No, is that? It's, yeah, right. Yeah, he he would uh, profit plus like, four fifty, p- plus four fifty. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, normally I'd say that's insane. Right? Yeah. But for sure, he's going to be in the mix. Exactly. That's like, what we were saying. For sure, like, semi in the mix. There's very Divorce. little chance that it's just a dud that he right. shoots. You know, seventy four and is never in it. Three hundred to win one point six five million total payout. So that would be. 1.35 he's basically like playing his own pga tour event i think that's what the guy won for winning the valero 1.65 million he's yeah, he's dave's basically, in the field right, now. Right. Base, dave's, in the dave's field. basically in the field yeah uh yeah so we're thinking there might be a wipeout tomorrow and then they're gonna that uh sucks. i know and then they're gonna just they got perfect weather friday saturday sunday so they're gonna uh well they're gonna do done. that yeah is this the first year in a while you haven't gone uh i think it's the first year since 20 since that uh, no because 20 2020 and 2021 were super limited right yeah yeah so yeah. no i wasn't there for either one of those so, i will yeah. say i was a little bummed out just like anybody not to be in augusta but the mini golf the minute we teed off is intense, intense. and fun to be in there it's not a lot of fun but it's intense <laughs> like i thought about it all night i've been thinking about it for weeks um yeah i mean it's just like this is why i always say trivia and stuff like this is i don't give a shit about my show this is why I re-signed with the company for mm-hmm. four more years. Events stuff like, like this. Yeah, do yeah. stuff like this. Ryder Cup, like, you guys were all there. Like, I don't I'm gonna sit around and talk about my fucking stupid world. My sh- I don't care about that anymore. I no, care about all, this. What we all talked all about during the um, Ryder Cup is, like, we're living in a world where we've created something that matters so much to us as almost – you can almost compare it to – like the masters, how they feel. There's actual stakes. There's actual yeah. stakes. I remember we pl- said when we played in the Ryder Cup, how much more nervous could a guy in the actual Ryder Cup feel in that moment, stepping up to the final? It's, I mean, pa- like even today, the first <laughs> hole, I had like four feet from my two, and I was like, my hands were sweating. You backed off. Yeah, 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 we're was, talking was, about mini golf, and it, we're talking about bullshit things, but to us, it, it means everything. Yeah, you're either in, if you're here, you're the all in or like people are like eh, like i'm a big fan of that you're no. here to do 100 yeah. percent. you know you got to be all in and and like you say you can't especially it's very nerve-wracking when you care as much about this as people do about whatever they're probably doing that you're watching yeah but you're worse at it right so it's like now you're really nervous because we can hit horrific shots at least they got great technique they got a nice swing you can't go that that wrong for us it can go so unbelievably bad very nerve-wracking out there uh wild leaderboard today with the mini golf yeah. Let me say, I went for a run this morning ashore because I do have a blister on my right foot. Again, no excuses. I just want to get that out there for a gambling perspective. Okay, yeah. I was running this morning, and there were, like, blue-collar worker guys, I guess. I don't know. They had, like, jeans on and dirt around them. I'm not familiar yeah. with these guys, but they seem no. like real American guys. <laughs> yeah. trying to, these are Iowa Salt guys. Salt of the earth. Yeah, yeah. guys. Yeah. And I, I, they were, like, getting ready to work, and I was like, if I stopped right now explaining to them what I was going to do today, <laughs> and, like, that I'm actually nervous and worried, they'd be like, fucking pussy <laughs> <laughs> and i just kept running yeah but yeah uh yeah, whitney was wild in the first round but like a, i think a little fluky and then the, everyone who i thought would be in the mix you're in the mix i'm in the mix you guys are like everyone's kind of around We're around I, I feel good just really hard to gain strokes i feel like in these next three rounds yeah i don't so you know have to, you have to have like there's a, no full swings so you're, you're there's not that many chances for guys to make doubles and triples you know what i mean true yeah you gotta go nuts it's really triple really hard but you're a triple right. yep i'm in a triple Bad decision, bad putt, bad execution, bad break. Everything is bad. Uh, no, I think that's the nature of the course, too. Balls aren't really going out of play. No. So it's sort of... It's I played with Frank. Strange. He had like eight balls out of play. 
Like legitimately eight balls. That was a bad draw. Yeah, yeah. You just keep. That, that's a good test though. Like I stayed pretty <laughs> calm. Is. Yeah. You had to, yeah, patient. You had to stay patient. I can't crack Frank like conversationally. Even last night at the hotel, I got back and he was sitting in the lobby. I sat down, and tried to talk to him. He just no sells me. He just give, really gives me nothing. And I'll be like, geez, yeah, Frank, how about the, that Expos team in 82? I still think about them. You're trying to. And he's like, yeah. Nothing. And looks away. And I'm like, I'm going to my room. All right. Nothing. Zero. <laughs> I don't think he knows. I don't think he has any idea who I am. Yeah. Right. Why would he? No. You're never he, around. Like, no, he, yeah. no. That man. would be fun if we lined up everybody here, because there's a lot of people here, and had him try to name everybody. All right. <laughs> no, not our bar stool boy. Yeah. Does, he, does he know anything about golf? Like, does, is he, does his trivia knowledge extend to golf? He, so, Dan, so on one of the holes today, uh, uh, Casey Smith and I were, were playing, and she was playing really well, and I was winning at the time. And, uh, and Clemmer was our fourth guy. And he said, well, I'm playing with Tiger Woods and Annika Swordstam. And I said, who's Clemmer? And he paused, and he said, Corey Pavin. Which is not so bad. Skinny. Okay. What the hell? Not, not bad. No, that's bad. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. He's I've, I've heard deep. worse comparisons for sure. Yeah, not bad. You talked to Clemmer about his shoes? And no, I did see them though. Yeah, I think because we've brought him up in the New York office, and I think he thinks they're the coolest things in the world. Yeah, they're not. He's too I, old, I think, to be doing that. I like, think I that's it. He ta- he he gets very defensive with the old stuff. And like I'm old, like I'm. I'm wearing Skechers. Like I'm an old man. Yeah. Like, I don't. I have great. A ton of great pubic hair. Like you just. Yes. At some point, you just say, "This is my life." I'm like, yes. "What am I going to do? <laughs> Dye my pubic hair? I'm fucking fifty years old." What, what color? Been... What color would you do if you were? I look at old pictures of myself and look like I have dyed hair. Then. Yeah. Um. I think I. I can't. But if I had jet black, it would look stupid. <laughs> when I was like, but if I was. You know, spending time with myself, and I, look, yeah. I start laughing. I'm like, what, like, what are you doing? Why? Who is this? It looks like yeah. a different person. It'd just be silly. I'm like, you child. What would you, you doing? speaking of hair? What'd you think of Danny Rappaport? Yeah, I was saying hair. before, it looks better there. There was a uh, on my trip yesterday. I saw the the Twitter video, and it looked. I, I don't know. I didn't know what was going on. I think it was just a bad angle. Yeah, it's uh, it, it looks a lot better after a couple of days. I listen, hand up. It was a bad haircut. It happens. There'll be more. That looks okay now. Honestly, I don't think that Thank looks you. bad. I appreciate it. Thank you. It does look good now. It, yeah, initially it was jarring because we were saying at the live show, you have good hair. It's like if you have it, you got to keep it because you got guys like me who like it's going away fast. Right. So I get mad at people who chop their their good hair down, but it looks good. Haircut, now. Haircuts just get away from you. Like you're in the chair and you have an idea, and then the guy kind of does what he does, and it's really hard to be like, uh, no, you're you're messing this up. Like don't you know change the strategy? Because I feel like once you're in there, you yeah, know, once got, the ship got, is, sh- yeah. I'm dealing with the situation. Plates, My you know, guy's you, been turning me away from the mirror. Really, and I don't get that to get. I don't illegal. get. I don't get to have a look at it until it's over. It's starting to get crazy. What? It's almost like so you're facing away. You're facing <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's bizarre. So he'll do like the whole back. He'll do the side. We'll even clip facing. So you have the no door. idea what's going on. I got no clue. It's it's long, kind of exciting, honestly. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> it's like a reveal. <laughs> yeah. How long have you been going to this guy? Um, like a year. Okay. Yeah. He knows what you want. He does, but it's just you know. The did turnaround sh- is jarring every time. Did he start out that way and then transition to no, not? Yeah, he show started it? out that way. He's, he's wild move. Oh, so, you, oh, so you've been going. All right, so you know when you go in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been doing it more though. Like you know what I mean? Like now, now it's the thing. In the beginning, he would turn me around, and then I'd get a, I'd get a glimpse of it as we go along from time to time. Now it's like it's a show. It's like a barber <laughs> shop kind of guy. It's like, a show. So you got people in there that just talking. hang out and stuff. Yeah, it's like a one guy. He's, he sometimes has another guy that helps, and he likes us talking to the other people. It's like I, a little thing. I, I go to barber shop, obviously. Yeah. And the, my guy in the corner, there's three of them. The guy guy in the corner is a great guy, quiet though. Then this other guy, Dave, who's a fan of my old radio show, a little bit of this, but he's the craziest, loudest right winger in the world and he'll be screaming shit when like moms are there i'd be like he'll be like if fucking biden wins again i'm getting the fuck out of this (laughs) cocksucking fucking country he's like what are you gonna do with he's single too he's like he's like yeah he's like i'm on these sites all the time now he's like some of these girls just want it (laughs) and it's like like um, there's like there's like four-year-olds getting their hair cut he's like yeah yeah and then he's like what do you want a one or one and a half (laughs) i'm next i'm like dave relax jesus christ i feel like there's not a ton of left-leaning barbershops no i would think not no no, no. but barbershops now are like when i was they've gotten a little more they were playboys when i was in high school at my barbershop yeah yeah, which was unbelievable yeah yeah a little whiskey shot you know yeah Yeah, now it's just kind of yeah The most prestigious golf courses in the country have trusted Imperial with the design of their headwear for over 100 years. They remain the number one headwear in golf 
today. Imperial original styles include the iconic high crown tour visor worn by golf legends for decades, including PGA Tour pro Keith Mitchell. In addition to that tour visor, Imperial has other iconic styles like their bucket, their performance hats that are perfect for any sunny day occasion. I also feel like they've just been dominating the rope hat game for a long time. Yeah, we're wearing Imperials right now. Yeah. Um, they're just a tight rope, and it really doesn't it doesn't waver too much from where it's supposed to be. Yeah, sometimes you get a thick rope. Yeah, that um that sort of moves around. Not on the Imperial. these fit great, man. You give you give it a little bend here on the brim. Mm-hmm. You get a little sport mode, mm-hmm. and it's, it's it's just a very very fantastic sport hat. mode. That was funny. Also, Imperial is a proud partner of the PGA of America, PGA Tour, LPGA, USGA, and is the official headwear of the AJGA. Licensed collections made in partnership with these organizations are available on their site. They include styles with event logos for the WM Phoenix Open, the Players' Championship, President's Cup, 2024 U.S. Open, 2024 PGA Championship, and more. Imperial knows custom hats as well. Customers can mix and match to design your own or upload a logo of your choice to custom.imperial1916.com to order custom Imperial headwear with no minimums, quick turn times, and free shipping. Shop all of Imperial's collections today at imperial1916.com and use code BARSTOOL to get 20% off your first order and be on the lookout for Barstool Golf meets Imperial headwear coming to your local pro shop soon. That's imperial1916.com. Code is BARSTOOL for 20% off. What's the, uh, are you inspired by a movie character with the five o'clock shadow or where did that come from? I got from? some of this today. I'm just kind of, I don't know. I didn't, I just, I didn't feel like shaving. It's just one, just one day. All right. That's, That's one no, day? No, no, no. I was <laughs> going to say, holy shit. No, 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 that would be badass. No, no, I wish. Yeah. yeah. yeah you would no, no. So I, oh, I told you this before, I, all honesty. I like the way Jose Maria Olathebel's beard looked when he won the Masters putting wise. So I was trying to go for that. He's my, I think he's, I think he's the best putter I've ever seen. So I'm trying to channel a little thoughtful this week. Okay. okay yeah. I wonder how many more he's going to play. He's 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 got he's, he's got to be wrapping up, right? Yeah, because the, there was a wave of guys who are not like uh, Sandy Lyles gone, Ian Woosnam's Mize, gone. Yeah. I feel like he's next on that list. Yeah, I would think because Longer's not playing this year. Freddie's actually the oldest player in the field. Is he? yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Longer's hurt, right? Yeah, yeah. Longer, uh, you you got hurt. Longer. He tore his Achilles. Pickleball. Playing pickleball. Really? Yep. Yeah. Blew his Achilles out. Uh oh. 66, God, though. Coming back from an Achilles injury at 66, is that, that requires He'll some do it. kind of He'll motor. do it. He'll, He'll try. win again. He'll win again sure. the Champions Tour. Oh, 100% he will. Which is insane. Wow. When you, you, go to, you go to Augusta, you guys know. Like I, I followed long around for a couple holes last year or the year before. It's crazy. He has like, you know, he's hitting like woods into one. He's hitting wood, wood, like <laughs> seven iron into two. <laughs> he's hitting woods into four. Yeah. Uh, fucking eleven. He, he laid up with a with a driver. Like it's crazy. But it, I think he shot like seventy four. I was gonna say he yeah, still plays well. He beat like oh, Rory. He beat Bryson that, head to head. Uh, that that's what it was. The the year that Bryson came in as like I think it was twenty twenty when he was a par sixty eight. Yeah, yeah. That was and he was like the guy. Uh, he had just won the U.S. Open and he lost to Longer straight up. It was delicious. they played together on great. Sunday. He was out driving him by some almost hundred and thirty <laughs> yards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Guy's uh, a machine. Yeah. Anything you're rooting for this week, Kirk? Anybody you're rooting for, especially? I mean, I know Fred. I'm well, yeah, Fred. I would like to make the cut. I think it's going to be tough for him. Um, like, I, I would like to see Spieth really, really, really in the mix on Sunday. No, but I don't think that's going to happen. I would like, I, I, I like to see Rory. I would also like to see Rory win at some point just to get it over with. I that don't surprises think, me. Well, I just want to get it over with. Yeah. I, I don't think it's going to happen though. I just, I don't think, I don't think he's ever winning the Masters. Really? I just, th- I just think he's. I think it's going to be like Norman, like Els. I think some guys just don't win all four. Like those guys never won the Masters. Tiger <sighs> said yesterday that it's like you know it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. And then Rory came in and he was like, I appreciate him saying that, but that that doesn't mean it's going to happen. Right. Yeah. I mean, how old's Rory? Thirty five. Thirty four. So- 34 so Still realistically young. it's not like he's young but it's also not like you have that many chances probably has like you 10 know? more good chances that's yeah. what i'm saying yeah so it's that's not that many and you got to think if scotty's gonna peel off some if rom is peeling off some you don't get that many opportunities this is his 16th masters for rory 16 that's crazy so that's as many as, won it. as many as basically as many as sergio almost when sergio won his just about right yeah it's just wow. crazy how many chances to win that thing 
Uh, Storyline, uh, Tiger, I know you are not a believer in Tiger. He's, think he's miss finally the, missing the cut. Yeah, I'm rooting for him the cut because he's tied with Freddie for the most consecutive because I'm rooting really against him, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I, look, I, uh, but I mean, can he play the – Can now does this make it worse for him if it's wet and – uh, yeah, bad news. Wet bad and news. condensed. I think condensed right. makes it a lot worse. Like Did if you he follow has him to on Monday? turn uh, around I and saw play him again. for one hole. How do he look? Perfect. Okay. Yeah, no, he looked great. Oh, if the majors were just Monday afternoon, he sounds like he'd be number one in the world. He, Based on Jack would be in his rear view already. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, every time I'm I hear still you. waiting for someone to play golf with him and be like, Yeah, he hit it like shit. Honestly, like, you know, I'd be surprised if he makes a cut. Everyone comes off and they're like, he is striping it every single time. I would say, even if somebody just said, yeah, he was pretty good today. Like, he was yeah. okay. Like, he was all right. Yeah. Like, yeah. But yeah. now it's say like, Freddie, JT, Sal Sal Torres was like, it's like, I think he shot 56 today. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, he's just, like, he didn't. Like, he didn't. Yeah. It's okay. We're all rooting for it. You got to lock up that uh, that invite back for the next year's practice round. Right. By just gassing him up every time that you play with him. Do you think you're going to play with Immelman in this thing? I saw you reach out to him. He did bring a buddy this year. He didn't, yeah. you know, his son, Jacob, plays golf at college, and he can't, he couldn't get up there. So he's like, I brought a buddy. It's like, interesting. No, I don't think so. No, okay. Well, That's too close to the tournament. I guess. What does he care? Immelman's got to be the guy that brings us out at some point, though. <laughs> he's the guy of, there. It's a lot man. on him. But he's not also he's else, not right? a member. So it's like. He doesn't get playing nope. rights as a ch past champion to just show up whenever. I wonder that. Like, if, like, Raymond Floyd rolled up on, like, a Tuesday. I was like, I want to play nine holes. Are they like, no? They probably are they there. I think they find I, a member for you. I like you, you have to have a member. Great. Isn't that wild? Yeah. Like yeah. I think when Tiger Woods goes out there, he has to play with a member. He does. Wow. He was saying that he went a couple weeks ago and he played with Ridley, he played with the chairman. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I saw that. So yeah. now, And I don't like the Fred Ridley's in the champion's dinner picture either. Get him out of there. Yeah, what's he, what is that? What, I know he's a chairman. Get the fuck out. You didn't win. That's bullshit. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I like, thought that was you? crazy as well. Yeah, that's, that doesn't yeah. make any sense. He could be at the dinner, but not in the picture. I, every year I could spend eight hours looking at that picture it's every so year. interesting i just love where are people standing yeah the body language who got old who's fat yeah. who's tiger looked great tiger looked good too phil's it's eyes the, were real wide it's the widest smiles you'll ever see from these guys too like a lot of these guys are kind of gruffy you know and, right. and you get them in this arena which is it's basically the ultimate golf buddies dinner it's like the coolest golf buddies dinner you could ever possibly have sergio and had the most bro -y. uh he had like his arm around the guy next Charles to him Cudi, I think, right? yeah it was Cudi, i yeah. think and he had his arm next to him huge smile on his face uh, who look? Who else? I do think the Phil eyes are wild, crazy. Phil looks like yeah. something's going on. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah. I don't know what's yeah. going on with I mean, that. I'm like a set, like everything's a play. Little Pete, little Pete. Everything's, <laughs> a play. everything's everything, yeah. everything's a play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah, Phil just looks like like somebody scared him. We're coming around a corner. How many years do we think Jack's got left at this at doing the uh, ceremonial <sighs> tee shot? I got to do it last year. My brother and I like sprinted out, the, but didn't sprint. We walked fast at the beginning and Smart. got there and saw Jack hit his first tee shot. It was great. But, like, he barely cleared, like, the bottom of the hill. Wow. Like, probably 80, 90 yards. He you know said, loves, he said you know earlier. that is Gary Player. Gary Player. Oh, yeah. He's still, it's an okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's, he wants to Walk, win that. His yeah. whole year is leading up to that. To like, I'll be dead serious. I think he hits it further than I do off the tape. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I'm I, sure I, he I actually does for think me. He, I think he does. Has there ever been 90. a horror story? Like, has anyone ever, like, topped it or missed Arnold it? Arnold did this last year. He almost brained somebody. Cause, really? Because you, you bet, like, it's super tight in that first. Oh, yeah. I think he ducked it like left, like directly <laughs> left. Yeah, I would. Yeah. I would not be surprised if this is Nicholas's last. Jack, said maybe you want recently, to do it. Maybe you want to do it twenty for the fortieth anniversary of eighty six. Maybe that's maybe. a long way away, though. That's a yeah. long way. Away. He said earlier this year that he doesn't play golf anymore because he's so bad, and it's like it's right. so hard for that guy to be bad at golf. He just doesn't even try. Right, because you still have the brain of a guy who's like, oh, I was the greatest of all time. You can't go out there and shoot 150. You're like, well, fuck yeah. What makes golf so wild, though, is like Tiger still hits the mile. Like, is still, Phil's still playing. Jack, in 98, played against those guys at the Masters and beat those guys. He finished sixth. He beat that Tiger same the year human after he being. won by 12. Yeah. yeah, the next year. That same human being you watch beat Tiger Woods like in 98. That's so crazy. That's why 84 years old. That's what's crazy about uh, one of the great things about it. Yeah. yeah, and like you just said, with with Longer was like beating Bryson and yeah. he's hitting it nowhere. Rory missed the cut last year, right? 
He shot. Yeah. Fred, yeah. Freddie made the cut. cut he was last 60, year. 63. There's always some big. Who's going to be the big name guy that misses the cut? There wasn't there what, that one year? It was like Rory, DJ, and somebody else like missed the cut. Spieth doubled up 18th and missed the cut a few years oh, ago. That was that was a dagger. Somebody big will miss the cut. I'm with, Spieth. I'm with you on the Spieth thing. I want him to be involved. Me too. Because every time he's involved, it's it's chaos, but also. It gets the juices flowing. Yeah, it gets everybody into it. He transcends when he's around, which is nice. What he's, do you guys, what do you got? You guys, you guys are insiders. What is, what is going on with this JT Bones? What was that about? Do we have any idea? I've heard, I heard nothing. I've heard nothing. I've asked so many people. And a week heard before anything. the Masters? Do we know Stunned. who yeah. initiated that breakup? Was it JT? I, the, the, was it Bones? So his message was like, it was, it was it had a somber tone. Like his um, his announcement of the yeah. split. Yeah. It was, it was like a black background. And he goes like, as hard as it is for me to say this, we are, you know, going our separate ways. Yeah. And yeah, the timing is very curious. So I'm going to keep trying to figure that out. There's got to be some juice in there. Yeah, he's kind of lost at sea again. So yeah, he'll, he'll, like he'll it, throw right? an eighty out of nowhere. Just right. like I, always, I missed, he would if he missed the cut, that wouldn't surprise. Yeah, me. what's Bones gonna do? TV again? He was great at TV. I could see that. Yeah, I think TV. You know, he can still be involved in the game, and like I, you know, he's old. He's been doing this for a long time, and I think he caddied for JT to like win majors and be up there every week. And they did get a major. They won together in uh, Southern Got Hills the players a couple years ago. Got the players championship, but you know, he's not. I don't know that like a T sixteen at Valero is like really doing it for Bones anymore. Fair, that's fair. So, is there any bag that he would take? I mean, the one that the one that people always bring up is Rory because you know he's had Harry on the bag and people like to you know uh, give Harry shit because he's just Rory's pal. But I don't I don't think that that's. I mean, I they they had a pretty good confrontation at the Ryder Cup last year too. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, he did. He said he was just yeah. looking for the first American to yell at, and Bones came out. <laughs> <laughs> Bones is tall. He's Who's tall. the Bones new guy tall. on JT's bag? What's the story? Uh, that, his name is Matt Minister. Everyone calls him Rev, which is an elite nickname because his oh, last his, his last name is Minister. Wow. Uh, he caddied for uh, Cantlay when he was winning FedEx Cup and all that stuff. He's been he hasn't been on the bag though since since uh, since Lacava took. That, but it's such a the caddy stuff is like yeah. so. Oh, he's he's going to his bag, and oh, I heard he broke up with him. It's very gossipy. I know it's a good bag, but it's I love Joey with Freddie and Tiger. It's kind of sad seeing him with Canley. Yeah. It's like no fun. You, you, you can't have fun with Patrick Canley. I don't think. Uh, no, you definitely can't. Like you're just there to work. It's an ATM. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, who knows? He'll win this week, I guess. But you know, I, I never think about him. Like we did the gambling show last night. I never think of Canley. Yeah. Nope. Never. He's he ha- leading. He has I don't one. want to have money on him. He is right. boring. Yeah. He's disliked. Right. If you're rooting for him, you're the only person in the world that's rooting for him. Everybody else is rooting against him. It's just brutal. Yeah. I could oddly see him wearing the jacket, though. Totally. Me I, too. Yeah. So, yeah. Do you think he, he would should. win it before Xander? Yeah. We talked a little bit off mic yesterday, Kirk. Yeah. It's like, Xander, I don't think he's ever. It just oh, feels yeah. like he's never going to get one. He's a machine, though. Like, he'll finish 14th. I think he's gonna like back into. I think I he could win this week. I actually might. I might wager a little bit on him. But he's that's been him so every consistent. major week. Every major week. Yeah, but it's week, gonna happen. It's he's gonna always happen. around though. Always. Seven top twenties in a row. I think. In the yeah, always he's 30, around. He's thirty years old. Phil wasn't. Phil was thirty four when he won his first major. Like you know, it's. The, but I bet you Phil yeah. had like twenty eight wins at that point though. Yeah. He did, and Xander has definitely. I think he has like six or seven, but not in a couple years. But I, I think it's just like. If you're the, if you're up there that often, it's got it's gotta happen at some point. I love a Xander top ten bet. I would take that all day long. Not to win though. Not That's probably win. like even money. Yeah, Dan, yeah, should... you're not high on Hovland this week, right? No, I'm not. I'm not. He uh, he he doesn't have a top twenty finish. I think this year, and I think you know he's got this is another swing coach now that he's working with. He was with a different guy, Grant Wade earlier, which is a different guy than he was with the year before when he was playing his best golf. He's got Dana Dahlquist now, and I just feel like. He's in search mode. Him and Morikawa are kind of the two guys that I feel like um, are just entering the first major, really in, entering major season. Probably their wheels are probably spinning a little bit. Like, I, I got to figure this out. Because really, apart from Scotty, Xander and Wyndham Clark are kind of the only, like, blue chip guys who you would say are in good form. I put Ludwig there already, honestly. But Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's but number six in the world. It's his first major. The, first uh, major. Of, uh, of the guys in the top 50 in the world rankings who are not live. Hovland has the fewest points this year. Wow. Like, he's been, ter- or second or what? He's been terrible. I walked um, with his group at the players, and he, like, left one in the bunker on 18, and then, like, his demeanor was so not good, negative and mm-hmm. so down. He slammed his putter against his staff bag, tossed it to his caddy, walked away with, like, a weird smile on his face. That's it's just the good. energy as he shifted by was bizarre. I didn't realize he's a huge like conspiracy guy. We talked oh. about this last night on what? live from it. He is. 
Yeah, all the and they they pan to everyone from the Ryder Cup team, and we're like, what do you think of when you think of kind of Hovland and or Victor, you know, and his sort of talks, and every one of them was like, I don't want to say he's a conspiracy theorist, but it's like Bryson, they were getting into. He's like he's crazy about astrology. I think Luke Donald said that it's not uncommon for him at stops they go to to drive two and a half hours I've to heard see that. some I've archaeological heard that. Yeah. site. No shit. Oh yeah, he's probably worried about the electrical grid going down. Has to. He's be. like, I can't focus on my golf game. We're going to lose power here. Eclipse I, I must do, have driven him nuts the other day. I think True. the Bryson comparison is actually not far the off because I think with with coaches, what he does that. is he like I do, he, he I gets say all eclipse. the information. Like a he gets the all the information version? out of them. He wants to learn, 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 and then he like kicks him to the curb when he's done. Yeah. Whoa! What do you see? Eclipse? Eclipse is eclipse. It's not, it's not eclair. Eclipse. 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 No, it's not. I don't know if it is or it isn't, but that's just how I'm. No, how you say I eclipse, say it. right? It's eclipse. Yeah. Eclipse. What are you trying to be like indifferent or something? I don't know. I've always. <laughs> is that the first time in your life you've been interesting? Is that? <laughs> I, what do you do I don't know why I say, oh, I say yeah. eclipse. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, boy, you got to wait another 20 years to <laughs> bring it up. Boy, you're a complicated guy. Wow. There's another so many one layers. Insurance, I think yeah. I've always said it that way. Insurance. Yeah, that's, that's a tough one. What do you, you call it an eclair or an eclair? Like a chocolate eclair? That's an eclair, right? <laughs> I, I think it's a it's a Claire. A Claire. Yeah, now I think I'm that fucked. one I would say. Claire. <laughs> I say Eclair. So. Yeah. Mr. Jennings. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Fuck with me. <laughs> we were we were down in the office uh, last night, and Jer- I mean Jersey Jerry's been doing a lot of this talk that he got a DM from someone saying that yeah the the money stuff. The, the yeah, where everyone's gonna lose their money soon. There's gonna be a huge yeah. data breach. And we're picking him up at the Ryder Cup. We would bring him. Uh, no. Uh, no, it was the thing we did the corn fairy thing. He was there, right? Yeah. 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 And he was like. He's like, my flight was horrible. He's like, ever since uh, COVID. COVID, the turbulence has been like crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what a connection. He's like, yeah. He's like, new pilots. I'm like, yeah, but turbulence. I don't, do they force turbulence, the pilots? No, there's just no way. Are they searching for it? <laughs> he's, like, all, he's, like, he's like, all these guys got their jabs. They got their boosters, whatever. It doesn't matter. Just <laughs> purposely flying into clouds. Yeah. That's because of COVID. Unbelievable. Uh, let's do a quick couple from the galleries, uh, brought to you by our great friends at Fireball Whiskey. We had a good amount of that Monday night. It was a delicious time. They get the old iconic cinnamon whiskey, uh, Fireball 50 milliliter shooters. You could grab those, throw a bunch of them into your golf bag. They got the birdie shot club as well. That's the Fireball. Uh, so do yourself a favor. Go get a bunch of Fireball nips, throw them in your bag. You don't need a chaser. You don't need any glass. You just rip the cap off, take them back, and they're absolutely delicious. Uh, Micah says, are you having any issue with getting master's merch, even if you've never been before? Uh, I had this issue. So stolen valor a little bit. I, yeah. I had this I issue. I think I agree with you. I actually bit. do agree with you a little bit. I you, bought something for my father-in-law. He never wore it. Because he's never been? He doesn't yeah. want it. He doesn't want it. Kind of respect. Didn't that. tell me, but I know. Put it this way: if I'm if I'm out golfing with somebody and they have a master shirt on, I presume they've been there. That's right. Yeah, yeah. you're yeah. put. You're setting them up for a tough conversation yeah you look like an asshole you're like uh, uh, my my son-in-law went I, yeah. oh sure right yeah yeah yeah, yeah right right, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah oh I, like what year did you go to masters i didn't oh, okay i didn't yeah no. never never yeah i'd put myself in those shoes i would not want masters merch if i had never gone and it's it's just it's for that conversation because you get fucked and it's embarrassing you i'm gonna go well, i know Riggs will, will won't mind this i'm not embarrassed to say the first time i walked into masters with my brother i cried yeah, like absolutely. My, well, my dad had just died the year before, but we walked in and I, we walked right in on 13. And I saw it and I was like, holy sh- this is really it. Yeah. It's a crazy yeah. feeling uh, when you walk for the first time because it, it looks you've seen it before. It, it yeah, you know it, everything. Yeah, you know everything. And it, it but seeing it in person, it's there's just something that you, it like takes your breath away for a little so bit. clear. It's just weird. Yeah. Everything there is just different. It's just different. Yeah. I remember thinking the first time we were there, I you could see more of the course than I realized when you come through and you're the scoreboards right there and you go up the yeah. hill. You can see more of the course than I thought you're going to. And that yeah, is well, that's beautiful. the high point. That's I mean, yeah. really, oh, like that's the high point of the 10, course. Yes. And, and everything kind of moves you can see down a bunch toward of it. 12 green. Right. So it's it lives like, up to yeah. the high and, and yeah. then some. It's great. I mean, I'm a big Disney guy. And I like to make there. the comparisons, but it's they they just do something that it's the hype up of all the little things that we become obsessed with. Right. The way that they clip the grass around the walkways and the way that the green looks, uh, you know, it's just a different type of green that you've ever seen. It's it's similar to you know I know it's a little uh, a, a little kid's place, but when you go to freaking Disney, everything's perfect. Yeah. If you drop I, if you drop like a napkin or something, like you're terrified. You, you go pick it up. Whereas a yeah. Pro, right. You're in. Even the gusts when you go to the bathrooms, they've just the they live going, up to the hype. Yeah, the guys like one or two, one or two, one or two. People just like they do everything. They nail that. I I would say when you have uh, no phone there, 
One thing that I noticed too is how much your the other senses that you have are heightened. Yeah. You hear better, you can hear little roars, you can hear rumblings, you can start to smell stuff. And like you said, it's clear. Like you're just not staring at your phone, you're kind of looking around. So That's a, the yeah. no phone's a huge it's part great. of it. It's so great. I love asking people for the time. What time is it? Yeah, right. You gotta watch on what time is it. Because my brother, I remember one year he was like, I'm gonna go over here. And I was like, and I was like, where are we gonna meet? And when are we gonna meet? It's like it was back in high school. Oh, it's nice. the best. Well, you guys had phones back in high school, so. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. The phone wasn't even invented when I was in high school. Uh, Connor says, do you think anyone has ever gotten married at Augusta National? No. No, I, I don't. Say no. I mean, maybe Clifford Roberts. He's He did everything at Augusta National. I don't know. I don't know what his marital history was like, but, you know, he he lived and died at Augusta National. Did, so yeah. it's it's definitely, definitely possible. definitely true. But I don't think that they're, you know, like uh, closing closing the course on 4 p.m. on a Saturday to set up for a wedding on, on the I first I bet you fairway. someone has. I bet you some rich old, yeah, I could see that. So that was I kind of, there. And there was a second part that was like, do you think there is any price or any type of status billionaire, could Tiger Woods or some mega billionaire get married at Augusta National? But, but money, money's not a thing to them. Like, yeah, they don't yeah. care. They don't yeah. care. They don't care. I don't think it's, there's you somebody the that right, we don't right know. right type of billionaire. They, yeah, yeah. There's right, somebody exactly. that's just like a very, very integral part to maybe the board or someone. Like if Fred that, Ridley was getting married, maybe or something. Yeah, I could maybe. see it happening. I, I really could. In that fucking picture. He, he yeah, didn't fucking. Yeah, you know, like in October picture. or something. Fuck. I it, there's why would they not do that? October, little because it, it sets a it sets a precedent that it's possible. I mean, yeah, fucking, yeah. they have dude perfect there though. Like they anything. That goes. is the one thing that I think we all can agree we can't believe it. It's disgusting. It's it's. The worst thing that's ever happened in the history of the world. Like, now, it's, it's nauseating to me. I, now, I we had said when it happened. It makes me sick physically. We had said like, oh, maybe this opens the door for alternative media, Barcelona Sports. Maybe they're going to let more people in. First of all, they have not done that. It's, they just did something with Ma the Masters this week. Dude, Dude perfect, perfect again. Yeah, they hosted one of, the, one of the like late night things they're doing or something. It was like them and like. Shane, but whether Shane Bacon rivers, they did something. I think if a dude perfect guy gets married there, I'm gonna be pissed. I'll be pissed. <laughs> and then he'll be happens. like, then he'll like jump, they'll have like rappel into the twelfth of water, and like come, oh, God. they, they uh, are they, dipping they, their they toes in the water a little bit. They flew a drone through up Magnolia Lane. I think it was a TikTok video. They flew oh. a drone up Magnolia Lane into the clubhouse and out the crow's nest window. Who did? Just somebody? No, like the official the Augusta, like you know, media uh, TikTok. Or whatever. I'll is. tell you, Augusta compared to when I was a kid, you guys probably know this. They didn't start showing the there was yeah. like, the guys were on like the eighth or ninth Dude, hole. The wasn't leaders. the front nine not shown yeah. for a long time? People didn't know what it looked like. It's the, it's the first nine. First, first nine. Oh, yes. My bad. Careful, Jesus Christ, Rich. My bad. Wow. Out of there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like the Nich Dan Nicholas Shear, they didn't show Nicholas on TV. I think till eleven. That's stunning. Yeah, he made a birdie putt yeah. on eleven. I think maybe they showed him a ten. But like, but some like the Norman, the Norman. Collapse year was the first year I could really remember because I think the TV coverage started on seventh hole. I had no idea what the second hole looked like. I'd never seen it. God, it yeah. would be better that way almost. It kind of would in a way. For one it. year, don't even they know. might do that. They're so crazy. One year, they might just be like, fuck, we'll start the, we'll start the <laughs> tenth hole. It would be great. <laughs> when did Augusta start to commit to the perfection? Because I've seen the old photos. Yeah, kind of beat up, right? It was beat up. Yeah. They didn't have the azaleas. There wasn't fly <laughs> like. When did they start to put the money into the place where good it was? Good question. Like what really in the 90s, they were already kind of there. Okay. Yeah. I would love to know what point, too, was it the Masters? Like, truly winning the Masters was what it is now or even close. I mean, Nicholas Palmer would, would say that meant that much even then. In the 60s. 60s, yeah. Yeah. But, like, you know, in 1947, was it, you know? Was well, it after huge? the war, they was had it? some tough years. I think it was, like, once they got through that period, it like, they, you know, they didn't it almost play didn't for surprise. Years, right? It, right. right, it almost didn't surprise uh, survive the depression and the war. Like the war with, I think the fifties, they really started to run. I would rather have one Masters than three PGAs. What number of PGAs would you have to get to? Five, maybe. Four? Five, you take one over four? I think. I think. Yeah. 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 JT might I find out what that's like. He might. Yeah, I sure honestly already. would. I would too. Just to say, I won the Masters. Is it just a PGA? Like, would you take the other ones? I I would take. I wouldn't. Two U.S. Opens or one Masters? Two U.S. Opens is pretty badass. I'd rather have Fred Couples one Masters than Retief Goosen's two U.S. Opens. Wow. There you go. When you put it that way. But three, definitely three U.S. Opens. Yeah. And three Opens, for sure. I think I'm going to go okay. check out the golf course, Riggsy. All right. Yeah, get think? out there. Get you out guys, there. You guys, weather you, guys, you guys got a rhythm. Yeah, check the, uh, check the clouds. All right. I'll, I'll report back on the weather. Text us about the clouds. Once okay, you get we'll the do. media center. All Thank right. you. 
I wanted to get Dave in for a second to see how he's feeling about that three hundred thousand dollar bet on Scotty Scheffler he just placed. <sighs> Wait, are we st- are we still recording here? Yeah, we're going. Okay, just Dan's just, just not with us. Yet. Dave is down right now. Yeah, what's going on? He played bad. And he just can't. He can't he get out of it. The... He says he doesn't like mini golf with real putters. I was surprised that we were using real. Putters. I'm stunned. Well, I think it's. I know it's tailor made, but yeah. you could have thrown a logo on something. You know, that's true. It's mini golf. You said they could have made Taylor made mini golf. Hundred uh, percent. They thought they probably would have oh. loved to do that. Yeah. Yeah. This is the classic rubber. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was very surprised that we had any even real golf balls. I thought we would have you know you take green, purple, you know normal yeah. colors, the whole deal. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, I, you know we got a lot of golf left. I I'm a little we I'm I'm bummed that Thursday is not just going to be masters golf that i want to fire up amen corner i want to you know the, yeah. the groupings the whole deal they got the best their website and app crazy every now shot you every can watch player, every, every shot, shot yeah. really good is the fucking best I, does it look like it i haven't looked at all since we started playing does it look like a total washout yeah fuck i know i know i mean it's you know, i care about is these four days god yeah, damn it. it sucks it absolutely sucks anything uh, exciting you're doing in chicago Kirk? nope Zero. Zero just, point zero. You're just locked There's nowhere in. like around our, we're all at the same hotel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's nowhere around that hotel to like get something to eat fast. Last night I wandered around for like 45 minutes. I just wanted like a Chipotle or something. Yeah. Everything's a steakhouse. To, I was like, I just want to sit down for 10 minutes. Yeah, it is a very um, like sit down restaurant area. Yeah, which is fine. But I was just like, I wanted to get to bed and, and do this. But yeah, no. You're, cool. um, I feel like you don't have any, uh, like there's no one in this office that you're in you know any fights with any any negativity with no i hate chaps he tried to get me fired early on you Steve talk to Robinson. him at all yeah it's fine i hate him um but no other than that no it, it, <laughs> it's it's all kind of died down i'm a i'm a lovable guy dude. you're you're a team player you're everything you're i just, try to be a team you know yeah I, yeah i do like that like you i walk in i see you talking to everybody and then you you finally weren't talking to somebody for a minute or two and you walk by us talking to other people you just go grab ass oh it was a lot of, <laughs> it was well, it was a time we get to turn like this was grab ass city before the round started too. like what the fuck are we doing here like i don't know it's yeah. a lot of love and you are the first you go up nice putt for everybody well, yeah I'm, I'm, I, I like everybody here i want people to play well <laughs> You know, I can't. I, I, I'm worried about. I am a little worried about Whitney. I don't need Whitney to shoot 13 or 14 under again. That yeah. He, he is he, the thing with Whit is he's just not going to make a mistake. I don't like so either. And like you said, there's no. I know you made a big score, but like if you play it like that, although if you play it safe and you shoot like six or seven under, then you're in trouble. Yeah. True. Like if you're Whitney right now, like he's going to kind of. I would still. I would still take 36 under. I think you need hole in ones. You I, just got to get lucky. Right. I didn't make one. I made yeah. that toilet one. But I didn't, make, I didn't even. Whitney made that. four. Yeah, that's thirty six under. You I would think take. I'd still t- so Whitney's okay. Whitney's at fifteen. 15. That's twenty one. He nah, shoots. Maybe you not. know, if he shoots eight under each round, the that's next gonna be way, past that. Which he was. He was almost double that. So it's like fuck. He'll be almost at forty if he does that. Springtime is all about fresh air, fresh starts, and freshly cleaned homes. It's the perfect time to give a fresh look at Simply Safe Home Security, the only home security system I recommend. We've been using uh, Simply Safe for six years now, it feels like. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of motion detected in my front yard today, and that just means that it's uh, the spring cleanup time. I got mm-hmm. a lot of guys on my front lawn, my backyard. They're, they were aerating my grass today, putting in some mulch. I think the mulch well, aeration, was here, huh? getting the aerating going. And it was crazy. It was like, I haven't really been getting much motion during the winter. I feel like it's just really the mailman Then whenever we walk into the house. But now that it's springtime and you got a lot of people going, the birds are chirping. Sometimes a squirrel will run, acro- uh, will run across and you'll get that notification on Simply Safe. It's amazing, man. Right to your phone. These things are wireless. The battery lasts forever. I got, I got to replace the batteries maybe once a month. Maybe I can even stretch it to like a month and a half. It's amazing. They are great. I've got a bunch of the cameras um, down in Pinehurst. I've got a uh, right in the front. There's like a a pad, a secure pad that we use to lock and unlock the door. So if different people are staying there, whatever. So Simply Safe has got it all. Um, trusted by experts, Simply Safe was named best home security systems for 2024 by U.S. News and World Report. Uh, and Newsweek awarded it best customer service in home security. They've got the app on your phone. It's incredibly simple. Literally, you can watch all the cameras. You can get all kinds of updates on there. You can change the code for the uh, pad that we have on the front. So it's unbelievably easy. Backed by 24-7 professional monitoring for less than $1 a day. So you get fast emergency response 
uh, and dispatch whenever you need it the most. Simply Safe has given me and uh, many of our listeners real peace of mind. I want you to have it too. Get 20% off any new Simply Safe system when you sign up for Fast Protect monitoring just visit simplysafe.com slash foreplay that's simplysafe.com slash foreplay there's no safe like simply safe jersey jerry saw how much i can collapse around dave port and i i was talking to jerry in the kitchen and i was like jerry that that challenge you did last night was huge i watched all of your clips like that's unbelievable uh you know i saw all your hole in ones on like keeping mental notes and then dave walked in right after he said that <laughs> and goes jerry this is ridiculous like you're playing the course you're you're, you're helping people out and i said yeah jerry you're a fucking idiot <laughs> jerry. Just, jerry goes no 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 just no, bust no, I, I said i think it's pathetic you played last night <laughs> i don't really want you here you're like fuck you jerry yeah i said that damn impressed that he actually did it yeah, 18 yeah, hole. I haven't played it. Yeah. Not a lot of hole in ones no, out there. No, there's not a not ton. for me anyway. Oh, it's, I'm looking now. It looks like the rain might start, stop around noon tomorrow, but it does say an, an inch and a half of rain. They, they can handle that, though. They have okay. all kinds of. They, they, they do all. Yeah. It's, yeah. All right. Um, worst case scenario would be like, uh, I mean, Scotty's running away with it. That would suck. That's a nightmare. Can't lay winning would stink. Mm-hmm. Um, trying to think about any of the puds I'm rooting against. I, saw, I know. Uh, I noticed on Hell Cabrera not in the picture. He's not in the country. I don't think is he. Is he allowed back in or no? He he's out of prison. I know that. He's yeah. Out of prison, he played. I he played some they, events over there, that's right. and I think that they uh, he played in like a Champions Tour event. Maybe I don't. Uh, I, don't I don't know, know if he's that. in the country. He's not. Okay. Yeah. No, he's not. I don't I think was, he did play in the Champions Tour event. You might be right. I, don't know. I thought he got invited to play in something. I wasn't sure what it was, but I uh, yeah, I was curious because they. I mean, you know, you're invited for life. This guy goes to prison for a while. Hasn't been back in a long time. True. Interesting. I like Matsu. I'm telling you, I think Matsuyama is going to win this week. You love him. That's your guy. Yep. I am. Playing great. Plays that course great. Like, I think, you know, I'm not counting Scott. 30 to 1 or something? Is he that much? I can't remember exactly what it was, but yeah. people would, uh, I'm, well, everybody obviously listened to our gambling show. So oh, for would, naturally. Would, How many would. repeat winners are there? Mm. Tiger. Yep. Uh, Faldo. Yep. Uh, Jack. Crenshaw. Nope. He didn't win two? Repeat. You know what repeat means? Oh, repeats. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you're going back, back, I don't know. But I'm saying starting then, Arnold did not. He won every other year. Uh, 18 to 1, Hideki. Yeah. Oh, 18 to 1. Okay. I think that's. I mean, Ron, you're thinking of Rom? Yeah. I just know yeah, it's like, talking about him. I know. It's a live thing. <laughs> it's a live thing. Yeah. It's true. It's true. He seems very. He seems weird, though, too. He's weird in that press conference. He seems a little defeated right now. Yeah, he was one of those guys that was very anti, like the format of live, and I feel like he's eating his words a little bit. And he's very open about that. He's eating yeah. his words. He keeps using that in a lot of his his press conferences, where he says now he wants it to be seventy two holes. They want right. to move to that format. He thinks that it's it's setting them back a little bit, not playing all of that. He he's kind of eating it a little bit, but man, he's still one of the best players in the world. Definitely. Yeah, we talked about it a little on PMT where it's like he probably went over to live thinking. I'm going to be the the chip that falls and we're going to make everybody come together. I think it's more work than he's even than he even thought. Yeah. He's like I'm going to be playing PJ Tour events in a year. I'm going to take 500 million and then I'm going to be playing in these same events. I think it's more of a mess than he realized. I mean, the players was so great this year. He had to have watched that and been like, "I know I got paid a shitload of money, but this sucks. Like I'm home 100% missing this and I'm playing in Live Miami that nobody cares about." But that's the deal. I mean, look, you take 500 million, that's that's a trade-off. Yeah, and you only get that now four times a year in the majors, and you right. get nothing even close to that. The players was awesome, and there's they don't have anything near that on live. I think he, too, is a very – he's conscious of sort of the <laughs> golf conversation that's going on. He's very candid about stuff, so I feel like it must be very difficult for him to kind of be alienated from a lot of that at this point. Yeah, and uh, you, you kind of referenced it before, but how many golfers have won multiple Masters? So oh. you're talking about Matsuyama, obviously yeah. guys who have won. Yeah, obviously Crenshaw and Crenshaw. Phil and uh, uh, Tiger, obviously. Uh, Longer won twice. Yep. Ooh. Watson won a couple of times. Yep. Both Watsons have won a couple of times, Bob and Tom. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there are guys who, you know, you can do it. He's definitely, I mean, he's playing great right now, Matsuyama. His numbers are awesome. I would love to pick uh, Ludwig to do well, but he's never played there. I just don't know what that means. And rookies stink there. Generally, yeah. Only one guy's ever won this first time, Fuzzy. Oh, I thought there was zero. No, Fuzzy in seventy nine was a rookie. Was a rookie, yeah. Wow. Was he with Tiger in the picture last night or no? Uh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I don't think so. That's one of those stories that, like, 
in the social media world. Oh, plus oh, five dude. billion. Like back then, it was crazy. Like Kmart, I remember Kmart dropped him. He had a Kmart sponsorship. Oh, really? Yeah, they dropped him the next day, which back then was cra- like crazy speed. Today, he'd be Cancel. life would be uh, over. It's like over, 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 and, and like unbelievably stupid. Like it, I, there's no defense, but no. Like, that's one of those ones that social media, like right at the, that was 90, well, it was 97. That was before the internet, really, before any kind of social media. But, oh, my God. If that was 10 years later, holy <laughs> fuck. Or today? He'd be done. The oh. world would end today if that happened. <laughs> I don't know what the Masters would do. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that'd be wild. Yeah. Jesus. But, yeah, he wanted to. Did the Masters time. say anything about it in real time? Or was it they just... might have put a statement back. But back then, they were like. They were crazy back then, like even crazier than now about stuff like that. Probably, although it was e- then it was even then it was like different sort of leadership. Like Fred Ridley, I think would be more progressive than certainly today if something like that happened. Right, You'd have right. to be. Oh man! <laughs> but yeah, I always wonder that. Like at the Champions, are they go by each other? Are they okay now? Or who knows? I, I yeah, I think Fuzzy like he's the kind of guy. I feel like he's chit chatty. You know, he probably yeah. said something to Tiger in real time. Like that. Like ah, a couple weeks. Shit. My bad. <laughs> My bad. Ah, right. Shit. That was Not fucked great. up. I should have said that. Definitely shouldn't have said it. <laughs> All right. Anybody got anything else? I don't think so. I just oh, hope they I'm play Thursday. Excited, That's man. It. It's weird because we're in the midst of a ridiculously competitive, intense, very distracted. Yeah, it feels like a weird right. The this is, is a very weird, weird time because I'm getting ready for the next round. We've got the Masters coming up. This is typically a huge show for us to just talk about the golf that we're about to watch. But we're playing in a we're playing in a mini golf tournament for twenty two thousand dollar first place prize. I'm playing for twenty seven thousand on my show. Whitney was yeah. on my show a few weeks ago, and we bet. He gave me ten to one odds. I give him five hundred if anybody else wins. He gives me five thousand if I win. Oh, whoa! And I was like ten to one odds. I'm taking that hundred percent for five hundred bucks. Twenty. So I'm playing for twenty seven thousand. Twenty seven thousand dollars. Twenty seven thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah. Damn. But I would rather, I would rather win and make no money than get whatever second place is. Yeah. You could pay for another live show. Twenty seven thousand. <laughs> That's yeah. true. That's You'd true. Be right there. That's a good point. Uh, yeah, I'm very distracted. It's a huge, huge golf. It's intense it out there. It's nerve wracking. Your hands what are, you, are sweating. Uh, you probably have. What do you guys? If you, where's Tiger going to finish? Just give me his his, fi- his finishing position. I mean, I need him. I'm, I think he's going to make the cut. 26th that's a great week that's a great week that's i did not love his boy if everything goes right maybe i can win one more thing yeah, one of my one of my worst that's, that's moments not tiger fan. that's no. right up there with what did he say a couple years ago everything else from here is gravy yeah that was a bad one a couple years and ago. yet a year ago he was saying that he's gonna play once a month he's kind of he's kind of lost this he's lost the plot with his quotes i think mm-hmm. he doesn't he i'm not sure he's not sure what to say because he he's not who he used to be, obviously. I mean, he used to just be like, if I'm here, I'm going to win. Right. Now, I, he's having a hard time adjusting to the fact that he is there and the chances are that he's probably not going to win. So he's, he, also, he's also old. Like You he's forget old. with the injuries. Like If he was healthy, he's an old guy now. Yeah, he is 48. We, our yeah. North Star for that is Phil at Kiowa. We always talk about that. Yeah, the Phil bodies are different. Yeah. The bodies are different. And last year, yeah. So, But, man, 26, I would take that right now i did love the answer when they asked him why he continues to play and he just said i love golf it's a great I like answer. that answer we well, got are friends with him now so it's different like you're biased 22 you're top 25 22nd place yep that'd be a great week great week he's gonna make the cut it's a tough cut to miss if you're playing pretty well that's the one thing the field small some yeah. amateurs a couple of the old guys top 60 in ties is that what it is 50 top 50 in ties yeah. and anybody within 10 10 10 shot rule is gone they got, got rid, rid of, of that? that? Yeah. Wow. The yeah. thing is, every time he's played with this new swing, the new ankle, the whole entire deal, he's making birdies out there. Like, even at Riviera, he was he would, yeah, he yeah. would roll in four or five birdies in a 10-hole stretch. He, it's just a problem is he was making bogeys on the other side of it. Because the speed is still there. It's it's still there. He can get the ball around the hole. It's just, he, does he have enough reps to keep up with these guys? And that's the that's the thing that's been He had 174, 175 ball speed, I think, the other day on the range. It's not only a grip, it's the sole connection between your hands and your club. It's in your hands on every single shot. In a recent study, Golf Pride found that with fresh grips, you can gain two yards. Just another reason to refresh your set and refresh your game. Golf Pride is pushing boundaries on feel and what feel can mean to your performance in the game. More than 80%. 80% of tour professionals choose to play golf pride grips. That should tell you everything you need to know. Can't worry about if the ball is going in the hole or not. 
If you haven't worried about what's happening at impact, it is true. It's literally the only thing that you're touching is the grip. Yeah. It's a huge, huge um, piece to the puzzle is what I would say. And it's a very confusing puzzle, this game. And it's oh, something that you can really, really affect immediately. That grip, you can do it in the store. You can do it at your house. You could see how much of a change it makes. We were we were messing around with some grips today here at the at the mini golf putting uh, competition, and a, a grip is everything. Everything. If it's a slippery, uh, a foreign grip, something that you're not used to, uh, the size you're not used to, you're done. It's your only connection, direct connection to the golf club. It's the only one, and tells you everything. Eighty percent of tour professionals choose one, and that is Golf Pride. Um, that's what led Golf Pride to design a grip to ensure you are set up to succeed in that split second at impact with reverse taper technology to ensure you have more consistently square face at impact, a grip that's uh, most impactful during the most impactful split second in all of golf. Purchase the Golf Pride reverse taper grip today in store or at golfpride.com slash se dash reverse dash taper. Dude, we were, we were down there in the simulator and we were talking about this. Yeah. I was swinging as hard as I possibly could. Like, I honestly, last night, I almost had to ice my elbow, like the top of my elbow. I was swinging as hard as my body would allow me and it was 165. I don't know how you get another 10 miles. I don't know how. I think someone just set the record the other day. I saw it on like Zyra Golf, like 242. What? Yeah. I mean, he's an absolute asshole. Did you see the video? He's like no, fucking. He kind of have to be. Almost. He punched the wall after he did it. Like, no. ah! like just going but nuts. But even though, like what, Tiger, you said 175 to get there is impossible for guys like us. I've I mean, cracked 100 a few times. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think your swing speed actually is? 46. <laughs> it's like an I mean, isn't, pitch. J- isn't Jake Knapp like cruising like 190? Didn't yeah. They say? These guys are just, yeah. It's cruising it. Cruising. It's crazy. Cruising, That's cruising. 30 miles an hour faster than what I'm doing. Isn't that nuts, man? Because you're swinging. You hit it good. As yeah, hard, hard as I could. He's hitting it 305. Right. Right. Like, what and else do you need? Those are bombs. That, but, dude, these, some of these guys are hitting at 360. Yeah. Yeah, 300 is like the new, like, whatever. It's true. He's like 280 when that was the idea. Yeah. Every, everyone hits at 300. Everyone. 300 is not long out there. I mean, I know. It's, yeah. And it does make. So I saw Fred Ridley said something today to the effect too of we don't want Augusta National to play 8,000 yards, but inevitably I think it will have to. I know. It stinks. I Which hate. I, I don't sucks. like 13 now, like that. Yeah. Two. I, I like the idea that you can make. Like, I liked 13 that. Like you could really make an eagle. I think that's okay. I do. I, I agree. So too. Like you can make you can make some. Like you make five seven hundred yards. I don't care. It's like a zero hole to me. Anyway. Fifteen. I think they were kind of bummed about the way it went last year too. It was like almost everyone. No, it was just laying up for the most. part. That's the thing. Once you take that out, then it's like then it's just a wedge game. That's well, no fun. What's the point? Yet I also get it because these guys, if you're hitting at three thirty, I mean you could play a five hundred yard par four, and they still are going to have eight a iron, nine iron, nine eight iron, iron in. That's crazy. I just like where fifteen was like when Tiger hit that second shot in nineteen. That's like a great long iron shot. Yep. Like yeah. Top of the Jack and 86, like top of that hill. Like you got to hit this shot. 230. Yes. There's water. Like you, I want guys to still be able to drive it to be right in that position. So if it means that's 600 yards, maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Savvy and Jack's here. Duck hooked that shot into the water. Savvy, the bad shot in the water. That mm-hmm. made bogey. That was bad. 86. The thing people don't talk about with the argument about distance, especially at Augusta, is like when the guys were hitting the ball not as far. The greens were running at like a nine and a Way ten. Way slower, yeah. yeah. So you could hit a wood into the green right. or like a five iron or a six iron. The fact that these guys have nine irons in, I understand it's a different game, but they have to hold these things on top of fucking tabletops. Mm-hmm. True. True. Yeah. Yeah, because what, Nicholas hit three iron, uh, four iron in the 15. I think I was telling you guys he hit five iron in the 16. Stunning. This guy's hit eight Stops iron. Stops on now. a dime. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just he's three feet away. <laughs> he did. That. He's three feet. Stunning. That's true. Yeah. It did it like spun a little yeah. and like stopped right yeah. next to it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like different. you need a nine iron in. You're Just, not holding these greens. Right. They're you can't lightning. Stop it. Yeah. 16 has got a little goofy for me, though. No, it's a little like. Almost not mini golf. It's almost like there's a slope. There. I know like it goes right into it's it. It's kind of lost its magic a little bit. It's a little stunning though when guys miss it, like Cantlay in 19 when he was there uh, with Tiger. He had the lead. He hit it right up the hill. Yeah, three a lot putts. of guys leave it on top. Duval did 98. Yeah, that happens every. Yeah, it seems like a guy does it every time. That's true. And then you just almost can't two putt. You hit it to 10 feet, and you got to try to make one. If you had to make a par one hole, that your life depended on it. You had mm. to make par at Augusta. You had to play one hole. What would it be? <sighs> I think I would say I think I would say three. 
I know the green's tough. Boys. What? That's crazy. Because I know, cause for me, hitting a driver is like hitting a hybrid for those guys. So I'll have like 90 yards out. I feel like maybe I but, could. Like, where's the pin? Like, where you, where you think you can do it? Like that front spot? They, <sighs> that's so hard. But, but pick any hole. It's like, I'm gonna at say, least I know the hole's short. I'm going to say, say two or eight. I almost say 12, too. What are you what? talking if the, about? If the wind You're isn't dead, bad, dude. If the wind isn't bad, it's a 160-yard par three. You want to die, don't you? You're a sick fuck. What am I going to play? Five? It's 500 yards. We have three drivers and a seven iron. Five? No, five's out. So uh, two is... 13? What about, 13 600 yards what about, now. What about 14? Yeah. Tough green. It's a t- it's, but for us, it's a I'm saying from the tips, that's like 450. That's a good point that these oh. holes are long. Like if I step up to a 600 yard par five, you hit one bad shot, you're not making. I'm par. Just it's got to be a par three. It's got to be. No, a par I'm three. saying about. I think it's got to be a par five. Four is 240 yards. No, six. That green is impossible. Maybe 16. 16. Maybe 16. I think it's got to be a par five. For a gun to my head, 15? I need a par. The no, water. 15. No, no. too much two? water. I honestly think two or two. I could two. I can see two. You drive it down there, and you hit like another wood, and you'll have like a wedge. Two or sixteen. I really do think sixteen. Because dude, if you hit two decent right, shots on a par try. five, you're gonna leave yourself with a wedge shot in. That's way now. You have to make a three from there. Way easier than any par three. You're gonna. That's step also up just to. saying that we just hit gave ourselves two, two great shots. And listen, it's not also an easy you're competition. Also you're you're I got a gun to my head. I got to make a par at <laughs> Augusta. All right, what's the la- what, was, what would be the last pick? Five? 18? An 18 for me would be a fucking nightmare. That drive? That shoot? Especially where it is now. It's like 11 would be a mess. 11 is brutal. You 11 have, for a right, yeah. 11's 550. The one thing yards. about 11, though, at least 11 you can go as right as you want in your second shot. And you're one still is, in the one hole. One is not an easy hole. No. I think I would say... Also, four is a nightmare. Four is 240-yard par three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a huge bunker in front of It's a of massive bunker. Six, the green on six is ridiculous. <laughs> it's a, yeah. Seven's a nightmare. Oh, yeah. Two of 140-yard par three, I'm dead. I'm How about dead. nine? Like You get it down, you have to hit that second shot in that green. No. Nine, I'm no way I'm making par on nine. Ten is... Because nine has the really big down slope, and you have to hit up, But for a guy right? like Fra- Frankie, say, like if he hits a 300 yards now, like ten, if he hits a good drive, it gets that slot. Ten would be perfect for you if you, you get a the- little cut out there. Uh, you might want to pick ten because that slot that rolls all the way down. Yeah, I think my answer for the par is I think three is the best option, right? Wow, the green is I, I think so too. Nuts, the but you're is. up there. You're you're up there. You, but do you really want like a nippy wedge? Like, I kinda, I'm putting. Well, I'm putting. No matter where I'm at on that, I'm putting. Eighty yards out. Hundred <laughs> percent for your one par. <laughs> I, I mean, because I could all hit a wedge to one inch, like not in front of me, not the hole. I mean, would you much rather watch Trent play than watch Dude Perfect at Augusta? Yes. There we go. Trent to Augusta. I mean, that's a no-brainer. Trent standing over the shot on twelve with like a seven iron in your hand, dude. Like oh. four Masters guys with their jackets just staring at him, like these members <laughs> just watching him. That's a great question, man. I uh, so I think about stuff like that. I've, like sixteen, I think is a good pick. I agree. The you, water, can miss, you can miss right. Like, you might not yeah, make yeah. part, but you can miss right. If you're in that trap, you're fucked, though. That's true. You need to hit one good, like, seven iron or whatever it is on 16, and you've made, and you're you have not a made, chance. But you got a good chance. You you're in the hole. Fighting chance. chance. Trevor Ullman made a triple there in the final round. And the, yeah, the, my other favorite stat with guys like that is your guy, Zach Johnson, laid up on every par five the year he won. Every <laughs> single one. That's how you do it. Smart <laughs> golf. Everyone. I did hear somebody talking about that this week, and they said what people don't ever say with that is that he also won at one over par. It like, was windy like crazy. Everyone was laying up on most of them that week. Yeah, true. Because it was, yeah, like it was super cold windy. and windy, I think, or something. Appreciate that context, Riggs. You know, I'm just trying to help the guy out a little bit. Well, he looked good in that full swing, huh? Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, let's wrap it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we had a debate, I think it was a couple Masters ago, where we said, could... Could you win the Masters if you started on the fr- on on the edge of the green on every hole, the furthest point on the green, the furthest part of the green of every green? I remember Ricky Fowler tweeted a couple of years ago. This might have what started. Ricky Fowler said, "If you gave a, if you put a ten handicap, and you put the ball in the middle of every green for with a birdie putt, he probably wouldn't break ninety with a birdie putt." Yeah, <sighs> yeah, I agree with that. Until with you're the there, putt. that's one of those until you're there moments. Like the greens are. I watch them. Like, how does anybody make a single birdie? They are insane. That's what I'm saying. If I'm start, if I'm hitting my first shot, right. the furthest part, right? That's your tee shot. It's my tee shot. Would you win? Yeah. No. Wow. I wouldn't. I mean, I would. I'm yeah. And I, putter, do I think, wouldn't win. I do think the farthest spot is, in some of those greens, is the worst place you can be on the, the I mean, hole. Look at six. If you're dude, on the bottom on six, dude. We walked by six. Me and Brendan Jones, and I think it was the first time he had seen it. It's it's, it's stunning. I can't believe it. 
I couldn't. We, he, you see it, and you're like, how does anybody finish this? It's like hole? a three story building. Yeah. You're yes. like, how does somebody. Like all the mounds you really can't. Like, even 11 pushing it in. It's. Nine? Nine. Yeah. Seven's crazy. Yeah. So, nine, right? Any pin other than the back pin, if you start on the top edge of that and you're putting, remember that putt the Tiger hit when he won yeah. that lag putt? You, you, we couldn't do that. So well, happens, now Frank, we're putting it down the hill. So what happens, Frankie, if, if that's a rule? So let's say I started nine, I putt off the green. Do I have to use my putter? Yeah. Oh, no chance. Yeah. It's over. Yeah, Tiger. Remember, Tiger in 13 put in the water one year. No, putt maybe you can use a wedge, right? You're just starting. You're starting. With okay. a putter in your hand. Come on, Augusta. Let us do these. Let us do these videos. <sighs> How fun would that be? Let us do all of these. Dude, I'm getting so, like, pathetic that I was sitting like this for a long time, and I was leaning back. My knee feels like I need a knee replacement. You're getting old. That's what happens. Oh my god! Like I'm in pain for this next Do your round. Your knees and shit get fucked up from running. My hip has been bad. Yeah, yeah. I have to do something with my hip probably at the end of the year. But oh, no. any knee problems? Luckily, no knee problems. Stunning. Yeah, very lucky. Very oh. lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The hottest drops in all of golf, Swag Golf. Gear that sells out in minutes, if not seconds. They got head covers, putters, accessories, apparel. We're talking about Swag Golf. Designs are incredible. The quality, incredible. And there's something for everyone. They're made in the USA. Their upcoming drop is happening on April 20th at 4.20 p.m. Central Standard Time. Again, next drop, April 20th, 4.20 uh, p.m. 4.20 at 4.20? Central Standard Time. 4.20 I see what they do. Awesome. Uh, their stuff is great. Their stuff is so incredible. cool. They do limited edition. They do these drops that legit sell out in seconds. They got thousands and thousands of threads in each and every one of these head covers. Their works of art. They got colors. They got cool designs. They use all kinds of pop culture references. I'm still rocking my uh, Anchorman putter head cover. They it's a good one. Kinds of it's a great stuff. one. Great stuff. Um, visit visit swaggolf.com to check out what's happening with that drop and all the other drops. That's swaggolf.com. Check out what's going on with the drop 420 at 420 Central Time. Follow at swaggolfco on Instagram and all their socials so that you are in the loop on the latest drops. That's at swaggolfco on Instagram and all their socials. And visit swaggolf.com for the hottest drops in golf. New York Islanders beat the New York Rangers last night. I saw that. You were very Massive. into it. Massive. Very into it. Yeah. Yep. Islanders it. tweeted we're going to Borelli's after the win. They've, they've been, been great. They've, they've been, been giving great. you love. Mm -hmm. yeah, what happened? Just, my dad almost needed to die for it for them to. Yeah. Hey, listen. You know. But he didn't. So that's he good. Didn't, which is yeah. good. He's doing well. He's doing well. Good. good. Yep. I was shit faced when I talked about that during the live show, wasn't I? Is that what you were I, crying? I, I, no, no, this. No. I tried to make no, him cry no. at the live show. I, was, I brought it up again. You did. I get you, no. You got through it. I, I message you. I have no. No people get emotional about their dads. Riggs doesn't come along with his dad, but for the rest of us, like it's I a different situation. He hates you, but it's a different situation. <laughs> He's told me he that. You. He's reached out to me privately. <laughs> told me that. That'd be Twitter such a, DMs. That'd be dads, such a I like. like I love when I see. Like him. I like when I see videos of Frankie, the, the ones with you and your dad. Like I love shit like that. Oh, it's speaking great. of which, it's, yeah, it's great. Speaking of which, I was supposed to bring this up. So. um my dad got like 50 cards from all fans. I said, if you want to send him something, send it to Borelli's, maybe write a little note. Yeah. He got some like tear jerkers, obviously, like some people really sending some. He says a lot of people care deeply about Barstool and the show. Like they're talking about tough times that got him through and all these things. It was really, really nice. So thank you to everyone that sent something in to Borelli's. But um, the Ryans sent in a care package. No way. Yeah, it's it was phenomenal. They sent uh, they sent like a note, and then they also sent a little thing of Cheerios, like the, you know, because it's good the for heart. your heart. And inside that. the Cheerios, wow. it said uh, the Ryan's want a rematch when you're healthy. Oh, it was <laughs> the Ryan's and Borelli's are there's so, a lot yeah. of love there. That's classic. There's a so, ton of love there. So yeah, so transparent, really, really nice. Um, Unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, yeah, my like my dad loves your dad. dad. That's great. I have no idea. Yeah, they yeah. didn't they they didn't tell me. That's amazing. Made him cry for sure. Shout out to so. Joy and Gary. Wow. Incredible. That's delightful. Really nice. Um, all right. Anybody? When do we play again? Is it like two hours from Dude, now? Dude, I think we still have. We I'm have the like last group off of this. We have like three hours. Then we have one more after that. Yeah, Hopefully. it's later tonight. Hopefully, yeah. Right, if we, if we all make the cut. Let's just roll the rock, boys. Come on. We got to be Will hole. Compton. We got to be Will Compton. Yeah. You get a tie with them right now? Yeah. We're up one. Right? Up two. Well, I'm up at seven. Tied. Yeah. yeah. So you're tied. But he has to beat any of you he has to beat any of us and then we have to wear his fucking merch you gotta dance. promote bus and merch and dance around monkey dance for him wackiness mm -hmm. <laughs> i like will i know you hate him but i like will i don't hate will i like will i like will too 
we were talking about that before, and you're not going to like this because you're. I mean, you like a little bit, of, a little bit of edge and a mm. little bit of head button, but me, yeah. it's <laughs> like when on the internet, it's you. You think it's like actually real, right? And then you will say, "No, he's like he's a puppy, yeah, the yeah, nicest yeah, dude yeah. ever." Yeah. We we. I was talking to him for 20 minutes before the thing. Started. I think, no, he, and some I real, think he and Riggs don't like each other. There's some realness there, though. Yeah, you guys don't like each other. But when it comes to the no, business I would part, say, honestly, down there, I thought it went better than I expected. Okay. I, but I don't. I, don't, I, don't I never really spent any time with the guy. Red light, Riggs. He yeah. cared deeply when that whole thing was happening. About oh, for the, sure. About the business but both side. Both can be true, though. And, yeah. Yeah. He's still one of the best guys we got here in terms of personality. Yeah. Both can be true. That's what I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Super nice. Yeah. That was. Yeah. Things like that can get kind of, yeah. It was a little messy. That's part of it, though. Now everything's fine. Fine. I'll fine. get out. Just beat him today. Uh, I'm sure he played to. that well. I didn't think he played that well. I didn't think so. Dude, he was, he was, a good he was Dude. even through nine. That's what the back nine is. There's like two yeah, par Jeff, fours. Jeff was part plus threes. one, and he was minus nine in the yeah, back it's, nine. Jeez. You can, par fours you, are insane. Yeah. There are par twos that are tougher than some of the par fours. 100%. 100%. Which is very weird. I don't know. I don't get that. Yeah, you I'll say this. The rules guy? Mm-hmm. Kind of a weird guy. <laughs> he came up to me and he's like, he's like, what do you, he's like, he's like, you won last time by law. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, how many rounds of golf do you play a year? I'm like, how would this even correlate? But all right. <laughs> I'm like, not a lot. I have a place in Maine. He's like, oh yeah. He's like, I, I watched that Maine cabin show. It's pretty cool. And he's like, he's like, what are you going to do for lunch? <laughs> Jesus. I was like, well, I, yeah, I was like, I'm not much of a lunch guy. <laughs> I don't eat. I don't eat lunch. I'm like, I don't need this. I like the idea of this rules guy. might be a little scared of me a little bit. I like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm taking my, my, we were marriage. trying to like say, like trying to get some things going. And he, like I said that Stephen Che was wearing a training. That was a good try. That was a good, good try. try. I mean, you're just trying to get things going out there. And he like, didn't no, understand n- the joke at no, all. Not at all. No, no. He's like, yeah, it's a swing apparatus, I think. So <laughs> yeah. I'm like, all right, well. This is... Oh, whatever. But pretty low key. No craziness so far. I mean, no, the, the Jerry Cadding thing is not re- that's not a real thing. So It's too early. It's only one. Yeah, this is going to get ugly, I think, because mm-hmm. this is money and competitive. People are trying to position themselves to stay in the tournament. That's it. All right. Okay. All right, boys. Kirk, thank you. Thank Anytime. you, Kirk. Kirk Hand Show. Thank you, Kirk. And uh, Chasing Greens. Don't miss that. <laughs> yes. It's a great name. <laughs> Unbelievable. They like it. Yeah, you don't like fun. you don't. I'm like not a big names. fan. Of, I hate names, so I'm yeah. not, and I, I don't like naming. Well, things. I was thinking about it because you guys brought the gambling show back, and there was the untitled gambling show, and then right. you got the unnamed show with right. Dave and Wit. It was like and the Kirk you're... Minahan show. There's not a lot. Of, <laughs> there's not a lot. My daughter came up with the case, which is the true crime. She came up with a dinner one. I'm like, that's pretty. Oh, good. That's yeah, a good fun. name. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm with names. I have no. I have no brain for that. So when you came up with chasing, chasing the greens, chasing greens, chasing greens, which again, I don't know. I get you chasing money, but. Are you chasing a green? Are you playing golf? That, yeah, you're. you're it's your you're goal, sort of. I guess chasing it. You're like trying to get the ball. To well, we're not gonna do another one for like five months, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> okay. All, right. All right. Thank you, Kirk. Thank you. Kirk. All right. Enjoy watching the Masters, everybody. What a week we got. Hit it hard. Hit it hard. Hit it hard. Hit it hard.